Hey, what's up? In this video, we're gonna go over how to create a delay in your code and make a line of code execute after a certain time. In other words, you use a timer to execute a line of code. If you're here for the quick answer, this is how you do it. You use dispatch queue, main, sync after, and then you put the time of the delay here. Here, I set it for three seconds. But if you wanna stay in the video and see something cool, we're gonna go over how to uh, create a login page such that the user will be prompted to put their email address first and then click submit and then the password will appear and then they put their password and then they click submit again to log in. And we're gonna use delays for that to simulate a fake loading progress thing. All right, this is how we're gonna do it. This is my login page right here, very basic. Email, password, continue. Now I'm gonna make it appear after two seconds from running the app. So this is my code. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna wrap this whole thing in a condition that says if it's loading, display progress view. Progress view is that indicator that, uh, is that loading indicator that you see in every iOS app. If it's not loading, then show me the good stuff. I'm gonna set the page to be loading by default. And then I'm gonna add a code here that says, when the page appear, set the loading to false after three seconds. Now let's run this and see what happens. There you go, it's loading for three seconds and then my view appears. That's how you do it. Now let's do the same but with the form. Back to the code. Over here I have my prompt, and I have my email address input, and my password input, and the button. And over here I have a state variable that tells me if the email address was submitted or not. If it is, we're gonna move to the password form. To implement that, I'm gonna divide my view to two conditions. If the stuff that I'm gonna see when the email is submitted, and then the stuff that I'm gonna see when the email is not submitted. So when the email is submitted, I'm gonna ask the user for the email. I'm gonna copy the prompt over here as well. And I'm gonna take this secure field for the password and put it here. And then I'm gonna change this prompt to just ask for the password. So, the password to log in. And then I'm gonna change this prompt to ask for the email. Don't forget to take your continue button and put it in both conditions right here, but with different outcomes. What's gonna happen when you click on continue after entering the email is that we gonna change email submitted to true to display the other view. And then in the email submitted condition, we're gonna change it to do log us in by disabling the login view, like this. So let's try that out, see how it looks like for now. Back to the simulator, it's loading. Now it's asking for the email. I uh, say email at test.com. And then I click continue. Now it's asking for the password. I'll enter any password and then I click continue. Now it locked me in. Cool. Now let's just add a one little touch using what we just learned, which is when the user click on continue, they're gonna see a loading indicator for two seconds and then they're gonna see the other field. To implement that, I'm gonna go back to my code and we're pretty much gonna do the same thing here for both. For the email not submitted button, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna have the view loading when the user clicks on the button. And then I'm gonna disable it after three seconds and do the same thing that I did before, which is change to the other view. And then in the email submitted condition, I'm gonna do something similar. Just copy it over, but instead of setting email submitted to true, I'm gonna set login visible to false like this. And that's it. Let's try it out and see what happens. View is loading. And here's my form. I test. Let's put an email address. Continue. View is loaded. And now it's asking for the password. Same thing. The password. Continue. View is loading. And now it's taking to the home page. And that's it. I hope that was helpful. This will make sense. Um, when you're, uh, if you have a backend service that needs to load while while checking for credentials or whatever we're gonna do that in another video and it's gonna be really cool to implement so stay tuned if you want the source code for this again subscribe to my patreon over there i keep posting the source code for every video that i make you can take that and build on it instead of just coding this from scratch and following the video and see you in the next video bye